Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. We're back in Las Vegas. We are doing something tonight very special. If you're a foodie, you're going to love this. Yes, you will. Today we are being hosted by Lip Smacking Foodie Tours. Uh, they offer a bunch of different food tours all throughout Vegas, yeah. downtown, arts district, on the Strip. Today, we're going to be doing Savers of the Strip. It's about $1.99 a person. It's a VIP experience. It's going to be amazing. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, so we're here in front of Aria and we're checking in with our host, uh, who's probably gonna take us around. I, I don't know, we, neither of us have done anything like this yeah, before. Yeah, no, so. they, uh, so I do know that they have a self-guided and then a guided tour right. with a group. So uh, we opted for this one, especially because it's on the Strip and we feel like a lot of people come to the Strip and this would probably be better for our first time because I want to try more of these. I'm already like, hey. The crazy thing is I already can smell food. I, I know, know where me it's too. coming I don't from. Know where. I don't know if it's because we know we're doing this or what, but it's like, oh my god. No, gosh. I smell I smell food. Whoa. Yeah. We've got you all set up. We have an absolutely incredible evening. Three restaurants, four courses, some of the best in Las Vegas yes. coming right up for you. We're so oh. excited. We're so hungry. Hey, hey. <laughs> Thank you. Spencer. <laughs> Welcome to the tour, friends. Thank you, my Glad friend. To have you. Yes. Now it's official. <laughs> I feel like I'm on Price is Right or something. <laughs> Welcome to the Lip Smacking Foodie Tour. My name's Tom. I'll be your tour guide for today. Anybody staying here at the Aria? No. No. All off site? Very cool. So the Aria is operated by MGM Resorts International. They operate Bellagio, MGM Grand, Park MGM, which is formerly the Monte Carlo, New York, New York, Luxor, Excalibur, Mandalay Bay, Delano, Vidara, Mirage, and soon to be the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. They also operate everything that you see here. This place is called City Center. It is the largest private construction project ever funded in the history of the world. It cost them $9.2 billion to build it. And it took them three straight years of 24 hour a day, um, seven day a week construction to finish it. It opened in December of 2009 with Aria Resort and Casino. That has two of our three restaurants we are visiting today. You are on our Savers of the Strip tour featuring three incredible restaurants tonight. At our last restaurant, we'll do a full round of savory, clear, reset, and then we're gonna do a full round of dessert as well. We're gonna travel amongst them. For those of you who are on the beverage package, you're gonna receive a pre-selected signature cocktail at all three of our restaurants. If you did not opt in for the beverage package, if you'd like to order a cocktail or a soft drink at any of the restaurants, we kindly ask you to place your orders at the beginning of each restaurant. The server will bring a separate tab, and we kindly ask you to pay it when they bring it. That allows them plenty of time to process your payment before we head to our next restaurant. We are going to move at a moderate pace, so please stay with the tour group as we walk around. Are you guys excited? Yes! Oh, man, he's taking a food tour in Pittsburgh or in Las Vegas. You guys excited? Yes! Our very first restaurant is Javier's. Javier's is the best Mexican restaurant in the city of Las Vegas. It is family owned and operated, which is very rare in a large scale resort like this. It's owned by a gentleman named Javier Sosa. It's a celebrity hotspot. It's the Lakers' favorite restaurant. They love eating at this location when they're in town. All right, we're on the move. So we're first going to Javier's, which is actually coincidentally very close to where we live. Yeah. Uh, I've only been there once, but it was so long ago, so I'm, now I'm kind of excited. I've never been. Now I'm like, wait a minute. How have you not gone? I told you about it, though. And there's I talk did. of, uh, you know, handcrafted margaritas. Like, <laughs> I'm in. Our host is, uh, I love his style. He's I very... I how energetic he is. Yeah, he's got me excited for this whole thing. And we haven't eaten all day. That's right. <laughs> so we are, we prepared ourselves. All right, this must be Javier's here. I can tell by the architecture already. Yeah, it's packed already. Look at that. And this is prime Wow, look at this with the ropes. It's like a chandelier. All right. We have this huge table. Look at this. So this is their tequila tree. Okay. Top shelf tequilas are at the top. Some uh. of the tequilas you see on the top shelf are over $300 for a single shot. No way. Not including the beverage back. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's a beautiful mural. It's called Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. This was created by a hippie named oh. Jay Chester Armstrong. He lives in the woods of Oregon. He made this out of Oregon alder and completed it all in under six weeks using a chainsaw. That is the world's largest chainsaw mural. 
When he was done with it, he brought it down here in Las Vegas on an uncovered trailer, and he insisted that he mount it himself. If you'd like wow. to check out more about it, there is a five minute video of him on YouTube uh, making it where he presents it to his community. It's pretty cool. Wow, this is stunning. And just to give you an idea of how big this is, this is a table, a standard, you know, table right there. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that wild? That's massive. Okay, before I could even get myself seated, uh, we were handed margaritas, I believe. Yes, that's a margarita. Yes, because we do have the uh, the cocktail package. The signature cocktail you're enjoying is called the Margarita Piña. It is a fresh pineapple margarita made with Caradura, Reposada, tequila, freshly squeezed lime juice, elderflower liqueur, and St. Germain. And they never put simple syrup in their drinks here, only real hand squeezed agave. Let's give it a go. So it's all hand... Oh. Uh, and all fresh juices, no simple yeah. syrup. He was saying yeah. all hand uh, handcrafted. So yeah. wow. It tastes amazing. Really? Is it too sweet for you? Because normally you don't like sweet margarita. No, it's very pineapple-y. Uh, in addition to that, you got your beautiful chips and salsa. These chips and salsa are family style, so please share with your neighbors around the table. Right on top, you got a gorgeous uh, enchilada. The enchilada is half and half style. The left side, those are the enchiladas de mariscos. They are fresh, dungeness, crab, and shrimp. Sauté with onion, garlic, white wine, and butter. They are top of fresh tomatillo sauce with beef cheese and fresh avocado. On the right side, those are the pollo enchiladas. Handful Mexican style chicken, both free range and organic. Top of the guajillo, the Mexican mayo chili sauce. Both enchiladas are finished with melted Monterey Jack cheese and sour cream. The beans are infused with pork and the rice is infused with chicken. All right, so these are enchiladas, left side crab and the right side chicken and a little rice and beans. All right, I'm going with seafood first. Spence is going with chicken. Wow. It's really good. Oh my gosh, that crab. You are sitting at what is known as the Marcos Room. Uh, every Javier's has a Marcos Room, and it's built in honor of Marco, the gentleman who originally invested in Javier to open his first restaurant. So the room that we're dining in is called the, the Marcos Room, and the entire surface of all the walls and ceiling is mother of pearl, and those those chandeliers are uh, reminiscent of an, of an agave plant, which is where you get uh, tequila from, and you have to spend at least four grand to get this room, so apparently this is where the Lakers uh, come when they're here, yep. you know, where, where they like to dine. So your ticket in here is either be one of the Lakers or be on the Lip Smacking Foodie Tour, or, or pay four grand. Four grand. Yeah. All right, let me try the crab side. Wow, I like that actually better. You like that better than the chicken? I'm just getting to the chicken. Well, I think it's because I, like I like the salsa. All right, well, just like that, we're moving on. Uh, leaving Javier's. That was amazing. I could have stayed there. <laughs> I will be back, Javier's. Uh, so good on you for being a part of the Lips Back and Foodie Tour because you, just, you, you sold me. I don't know. What do you, what do you think about the uh, tequila tree? Oh, the tequila tree. I want one of those in my backyard. <laughs> So I don't know where we're going. We are uh, being led by our fearless host leader, who is a wealth of information. It's not only a foodie tour, but you're getting a lot of history and information. It's like a show, yeah, you know? It is like a show. And yeah. I think what's cool too is like, you can tell he really is passionate about this. Yeah. And I like that, <laughs> like I love it. Take a look behind me, sorry about that sign at this moment. That sculpture is called Hoto. It's by Japanese artist Tatsuyo Miyajima. From far away, it can look a bit like a tricked out Christmas tree. But when you get closer, you'll notice those lights are actually numbers. And they're constantly changing. That ensures the sequence of numbers you see at any given moment will never, ever repeat itself in the same exact order. The artist minute to remind people that time is always moving around us. Over in the lobby of the Aria, we're being told about all the different art. This one, uh, synonymous with being the Colorado River. Welcome to William Serrano's office. Uh, signature cocktail you'll be enjoying if you're on the beverage package. The one we recommend is their three-day sangria. It is a rich European rumbo. It is finished uh, nice and dry. It is uh, marinated for three days straight with apples, pears, and berries. Once it's done, they smash that fruit down, they strain it over crushed ice, and they add in brandy, citrus, gin, and orange liqueur, you know, I guess. I believe I'm getting some 
sangria, which I'm a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Look at how pretty that is with the berries and the apple slice and the crushed ice. I'm oh, curious yeah. to know what you're going to think of this. Wow. That is good. <laughs> is it refreshing? It's amazing. I've never had a sangria like this before. Well, it has, they said after they strain it, it's marinated for three days, and then after they strain it, like they add some stuff. Something special, let me tell you. Really? Would you order it again? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, this is their tostada manchego. Beautiful crystal bread. Uh, crystal bread is a special bread made in Spain. Crunchy on the bottom, soft and cavernous on the top. Finished with a house-made tomato sauce, a piece of that virgin olive oil and garlic on top. Manchego cheese. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. Oh man. I can smell it. It smells amazing. It's the tomato for me. Mm -hmm. So, Ventual dates are very, very special. They're considered like the diamond of dates or diamonds of fruit. They are wrapped in beautiful bacon stuffed with prosciutto um, and goat cheese. They are served over a gorgeous apple puree. If you want to pick it up by the skewer, eat it in one bite. They're very tender and packed with flavor. Very sweet. I wasn't expecting the sweet thing, but it's very good. But it's kind of a, it's an interesting balance of sweet and savory. There's a little bit of savory there. These are their chicken croquettes. Uh, this is a French style chicken on the inside. It's made with bechamel, which is one of the French mother sauces. Slowly simmered flour butter sauce. It is lightly breaded, lightly fried. On top with a smoked paprika aioli. I'm gonna bring this onto your plate, then you gotta pick it up and take a bite. I'm a fan. Big time. That's good. Wow. Oh, wow. please. So there's one croquette left. I've been challenged. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, we're going to rock, paper, scissors. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh. It's a tie. Oh, another tie. Oh. Yours. That's mine. All right, here we go. It has been decreed that I have won the challenge, rock, paper, scissors, for more croquette. I'm very happy about that. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Their version of a traditional Balenciana. It has three different types of protein, the first of which is roasted chicken. In addition to that, chorizo, a pork sausage, and morcilla, which is a Spanish blood sausage. Uh, there is a squash and pepper mixture in there all simmered together with fresh garlic and yellow saffron, one of the most expensive herbs in the world. Enjoy. Oh my goodness. Delicious, and I was right about the lemon. That is fabulous. The vegetables, the, oh my gosh. Is that paella, paella? So I think what I'm realizing about this foodie tour is that we're finding places that we probably wouldn't have tried yeah. because we didn't know. Or, in the case of Javier's, I remember I couldn't get a reservation. True. It was really hard to so find one. it's either a way to try something new that you wouldn't have thought of or a way to access a restaurant that you couldn't get access to. Either way, this foodie tour, Lip Smack and Foodie Tour, gives you access to some amazing things that you maybe wouldn't have access to before. Yeah, and it's fun because you can be as social as you want or you yeah. can kind of keep to yourselves, but obviously you know we're big social people, so yeah. it's fun to like, you know, meet other people that are, are Vegas uh, enthusiasts. And foodies. And foodies. On the oh, move. To go sangria. It conti yes, it continues. Yes, you have to drink too. Well, it's, it is Las Vegas. You can walk around with a drink. It's fine. Yep, that's true. friends right behind me we are in front of the shops at crystals this is the largest collection of high-end fashion retail under one roof in all of las vegas with over 54 luxury storefronts as we walk through you'll notice the shops 
are quiet. They always are. It only takes one customer to make their day or their week. Plus, with all of this foot traffic going back and forth, this is a form of brand recognition and advertising for them. Follow me. I'm still sipping my sangria from uh, the previous establishment. Well, and you get to take your cocktail to go. Because it's Vegas, um, if and, you can. And by the way, you can add on a cocktail uh, package at $60 a person. Yeah. And then that way, right when you sit down, they see your name tag and they're just like, here's your cocktail. No, before you can even scoop your chair in, there's a drink at your disposal. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Cheers. I'm guessing that we're going to Mastro's Ocean Club, which we have one in Malibu. And we're taking a photo with everybody. This should be fun. One, two, and three. Perfect. Yeah! It is a celebrity hot spot. It is a place to see and be seen at. Mastro's has a total of 18 locations nationwide, with the majority of which being in California. They've got glamorous spots right on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills and right on the coast in Malibu. Their original is in Scottsdale, Arizona, and they've added prominent additions in New York City, Chicago, and Washington, D.C., just to name a few. Mastro's has been named one of the top 10 steakhouses in the United States, and the experience in Vegas begins the moment you walk through the front door to a beautiful view of their African mahogany treehouse designed by the famous architect David Rockwell. During dinner, these guys operate like a choreographed ballet. Multiple servers will circle your table, setting down your dishes in unison. Their signature dishes include over the top surf and turf, elaborate shellfish platters that exude clouds of dry ice as they run through the dining room and their signature warm butter cake. A dessert so popular it actively trends on Instagram with its own hashtag, hashtag butter cake. Oh, good old Mastro's down the street from our place in Malibu. Yeah, we uh, often drive by it and we don't stop. We've so. never been. I, this could be the thing that sways us to go. It used to be Chart House uh, as far as the Malibu location. Yes. So. I don't know, this could sway us to go and check out the Malibu location, but either way, we're going to Mastro's in Vegas. All right, here we go. Okay, All right, we got some beautiful. filet that has uh, shown up to the table like immediately. And you got some. Looks like a spinach type of thing. Three dishes for you to enjoy here. Wow. The tomatoes are heirloom tomatoes from California. Slightly pressed with a gorgeous uh, burrata cheese and dried basil. Uh, next to that, a little cream spinach going table side for everybody. Mastro's does their spinach uh, like every other dish. Cooked slow and low, low temperature for a long amount of time. Letting all the spinach tenderize and the flavors to mature, making every single bite creamy and delicious, even if you don't like vegetables. Enjoy. So, your signature cocktail is called the Lemon Drop, and it is not the same Lemon Drop they used to slam back in college. It is made with premium vodka infused with house-made lemon infusion finish with a little uh, orange Cointreau that's a high-end orange liqueur, and their house organic sours mix all poured over dry ice, which aesthetically looks cool, but it also will keep your martini perfectly chilled to the very last sip. So we're hearing good things about the beef, right, ladies? We're hearing oh, amazing. Very smoky. All right. So good. The beef is really good. All right. Look at this. Oh, yeah. That is amazing. Wow. Right in front of you, you got their Mastro's signature warm butter cake. Oh. It is uh, a beautiful house-made yellow is sponge cake. Part? Yes, correct. Yeah. It is a beautiful yellow sponge cake finished with a brulee exterior, oh. crispy on the outside, oh. soft and warm on the inside. Oh. It is uh, like, baked like a with a thick layer of cream cheese icing on the top. Oh. Oh. Into the cake as it's baked. When they bring it out, they, when, when they bring it out of the oven, they brulee the outside. They flip it over. It leaves a cream cheese icing on the bottom. They finish it with a house-made vanilla ice cream and house-made raspberry sauce, with fresh fruit, and a house-made whipped cream. Next to that, mash. 
Maestro's uh, beautiful cheesecake. This cheesecake is done with a golden graham cracker crust and a sour cream sweet icing on top. The final one, chocolate sin cake. It is done dark, rich, and gluten-free in case you just started caring about that. Um, I'm gonna divide these up. These desserts are gonna be cut into thirds. These are gonna be halves, one half for everyone. So everybody gets a little taste of all of this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Totally have my cheesecake. You don't drink dessert. So smart. So my dessert is my alcohol. I am a weirdo. Teamwork. Thanks, ladies. Is the live smacking foodie tour savers of the strip we want to give you a review of what we thought because and we, if you think if we, if we think you should do it yeah we thoroughly enjoyed it now let me tell you this is a curated experience you can go to any one of these restaurants and spend upwards of oh, who knows 200, what 300, two three four hundred dollars yeah we got more than a meal's worth of food via a couple of different locations yeah so if for some reason you didn't like have a preference or like one yeah. of the dishes that were offered, you would still be full. Yeah. Like I mean, Which I have full. to say, I liked everything that we got. Yeah. Everything was really good. But and I think I think the other thing, aside from the fact that like you said, you could go to one restaurant and spend this, but we got history. We got lessons about you know the uh, chefs, the chefs, the, the origins of the restaurants, the hotel, uh, and the, the food itself. Every Every dish we got, we got a description of what it was, uh -huh. how it uh, is supposed to be prepared, all that stuff. Yeah. So, like, that kind of brings me back to like the curated experience. Yeah. You can go to any one of these restaurants and have a great meal, but are you going to get that kind of attention, uh, that kind of knowledge that right. that backs it up? And not to mention the social aspect of getting to meet really fun people because uh, you're sitting at a table with people who are there to do the same thing with you, but you end up having conversation. Yeah, there was a uh, lot of things that were served family style. Yeah. But you also do have the option if you don't want to uh, converse and be social and just be in your own little bubble, you of can course. do that too. For us, we're really social, so we were like and I, you having know what? such a blast. I found that most of the people there wanted to interact with each other and uh, talk about the food, talk about their lives, where they're from, because when you come to Las Vegas, everybody's kind of from somewhere else. Yeah. So it ends up being a fascinating kind of experience along with the food uh, but you get to meet some fun people and have a really good time we thoroughly enjoyed the lip smacking foodie tour yeah we're definitely going to be doing more oh i want to do this again so, there's there's yeah. multiple tours right so this one was savers of the strip and it was three hours uh this one was 199 a person they have another one afternoon culinary adventures the other ones are all 125 a person yeah um, and they're all about three and four stops in about two and a half hours Arts District, Downtown, and uh, Afternoon Culinary Adventures. We got the pamphlet. And can I just say that Tom, our fearless leader, oh, he our was host, so great. Uh, he was amazing. Uh, a really fun, uh, knowledgeable gentleman who really... You can feel that he had like such a passion for it. He really did. So much knowledge. It, it made it, it's like, I want to go back. I want to do another one tomorrow. I know. Like, even if the food wasn't involved, like yeah. that was just icing on the cake. We had a really good time. We enjoyed all the food. We enjoyed the company we enjoyed the host. So yeah, we highly recommend that you guys do a lip smacking foodie tour here in Las Vegas. We're going to do it again. We oh, loved it. We have it. so many more to do. I oh, want to do gosh. all of them. Thank you, Tom. Thank you guys for having us out. Like, comment, subscribe on this video. Any questions you have, we will answer them. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.